Welcome back guys, it's been a while. Today we have a Guild Wars against Luminosity. Looks like we're in the lead, but they haven't attacked us yet, so it's probably a time zone thing. They may come storming back and destroy us. As always, let's check out these forts. Pretty meta, it doesn't seem too bad. Um, about the same, I'd say this one's a little stronger. And... Yeah, I'd say they're all decent, uh, nothing too scary. So it looks like my guildie is already attacking that thing. I don't want to attack um, Sieve 7 because I'll only get like a tiny amount of havoc for that. So let's look at this thing. What do we have here? Dizzy Luna ML Ken. That'd be perfect for Judge Kise, except the ML Ken will probably blow up Judge Kise. So let me think about that. Um, the second one is Kron, Aramintha, Judge Kise. They have no strip, I guess, so ML Ken will obviously make an appearance there. And it looks like they have a lot of AoE there. Hmm. Do I wanna do Seaside? Seaside name Momo? This might be fine. Alternatively I could use um Maybe I should use Fallen CC just to mitigate some of this damage output, make sure I survive this. Uh, the top one... Ugh, that's kind of weird, I mean... Maybe I could play Risky and do something like... No. I was thinking something like this, but that's kind of risky too. Hmm, if they go on... I could blow up the ML Ken right away, but then these two will go. If they go on Judge Kise, I might actually lose. Will they go on Judge Kise? Because I can't boost Judge Kise and go first because then ML Ken will kill with the counter. Hmm. I wonder if I could do something weird. Should I just do something weird, guys? Something interesting? Something like... This, try some, uh, next level strats. <laughs> uh, screw it. Let's have some fun. If we lose, we lose. But I have a lot of faith in my man, Charles. He's the slayer of ladies. Crow is just there to take out ML Ken. So hopefully no abyssal nonsense. Now isn't the time Troublemaker to resists everything. Um, let's get Shall defense buff begin? up. Ooh, Come hit. Push on. that guy back. Let's fight. Now I let's cleanse my me. Charles. Watch carefully. Um Let's risk it. He's gonna eat a counter here, but he has defense buff up and barrier, so... Ooh. Luna explodes. Somehow Ken couldn't even break the barrier, what the hell is that? Interesting. Elbris, perfect. Oh! Alright, Grandpa Charles does his thing. ML Ken evaporates. Troublemaker. Does a nice little counter, and then lets up Charles finish the job. So okay, that was um way easier than I thought it would be, so it looks like that comp worked out just fine. Now this one. Skill pushback. Is it gonna get a Momo? Oh my god, it does! That Judge Kise has a crap ton of effectiveness. With Hellfire! Does the Silver Blades. Good thing I brought Fallen CC mitigate some of this damage. Okay, resistible for that. Um, maybe kill this Judge Kisai first. Can't heal because I'm uh, pushed back. K-Ron's going for FCC. My FCC is extremely tanky, so that shouldn't be a problem. I need to survive one more round with a Momo. No Abyssal, no Abyssal. Perfect. 
this is only a temporary. All right, she'll get barrier up in one turn too. Slap her. Ooh, puts her to sleep. Perfect. Counter misses, but still procs it because of defense down. And this is perfect timing. So this one's a wrap, ladies and gents. They have no shot. Right, let's tickle this guy. Little man tickle. And we'll do a little baby heal on everyone. K Ron tries to bust a nut on ML Ken, does nothing. And FCC is gonna unceremoniously poke him in the mouth. Alright, so round one. Quick little win. What else do we have here that's open for attacking? Looks like this one's taking a while. I don't want to hit it in case the guy actually beats him. What is this? Oh. Hmm. This one looks kind of scary. Seaside Fallen CC Apoc Ravi. Hmm. I want to bring out Charles here. But I still need a healer, and Apoc Ravi actually hits Charles hard as F, so maybe the bottom team stays as is. For top, I kind of want to use Sermi, although they have Kral out there, so it makes it kind of risky. Uh. Oxlots. Sidon? Hmm. So I could boost up Sermia. Blow up Destina. Hmm. Or do I kill Dark Corvus first? This is an interesting one. And will my ML Ken have enough damage to kill Fallen CC? We're about to find out. Let's do it. I'm just gonna go man mode today. Alright, so Oxlots. Do we just no, kill the Dark Corvus first? Do we have the damage for now, it? If you don't want to My Sermia is pretty beast sure. She has 97% crit as long as she crits. Whap. Alright, so not a problem. Can I one-shot Kral? Through defense? Ooh, that's her skill. Let's try it. Let's try it. Blip. Oh no 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 no! All right, get the silence. Get the silence. Oh god! No, that was a bad play, boys. So Sermia is gonna get wrecked here. <laughs> oh god, that's probably a loss right there. So what I should have done was hit the Destina, but I wanted to get greedy and see if my C Dom could go beast mode. Alright, now Sidam is attack buff, though. How tanky is this Destina? Not that tanky. So if I survive... Nice, he's going for Oxlots. That's actually ideal. Now I gotta wait out this stupid defense buff, though. Um... Let's just keep hitting this Destina for now. Get the heals off. I should be able to kill Prowl with the next Oxlots combo. Don't provoke! Ah, you bastard. It's alright, he should turn cycle should pretty easily. Like um, I can't hit him yet. Can't hit him yet. Let's just boost up his CR again. <laughs> so alright, let's get the crit buff up. Need more souls. I said look at me. Two turns on his S2 again, but his defense buff should go down in a second. So I need to make sure he doesn't provoke me too many times. Ah, oh, damn it. Don't provoke. Oh, you bastard. Stop provoking me. Beast of the West. Ah, god damn it, it's up again. Hmm. 
Oh god, he has his S3. Doesn't matter, he's not going to use it yet, but... I see that I won't be able to one-tap him through that. Don't provoke. Ah, oh, you... Oh, he's not going to survive. Alright, so I'm going to need to try to kill him through defense buff, I think. Which is a tall order. Do I? 2,000 health. Hmm... Through defense buff, I don't think I have a shot. But if he gets provoked, he's dead. Ugh. Let's try it. Oh no, holy sacrifice! Alright, let's heal. Ah, <laughs> oh, this tricky little bastard. Oh man. Owned. Alright, so my uh, creative plays were not successful. Actually, that was a misplay on my part, more so than creativity. That was a stupid choice to uh, try and one-shot that crowd. Because even if it worked, he had Holy Sacrifice, so I was screwed either way. I should have just uh, tried to slow play it, but I was so scared of that defense buff that I made a bad decision. Ooh, I get a nice sleep though. He's going for aim Momo. Get these nullifiers off. Ooh, defense break. Hmm. I like that as well. Don't put all your faith in me. My past, regrets, and hesitations. I'll sever everything with me. Still on a Momo. Is it my turn? Um. Just a little top off. I want them to stay on ML Ken. Crit ML Ken. Didn't crit ML Ken. Oh, nice. Alright, Apoc Robbie's down, so that gets rid of their resin capability. Ooh, that's dangerous, though. That's dangerous. Provoke. Yes. I need to get this off ML Ken. I need to get the unhealable off ML Ken. Nice. Yes, that should give him some sustain. Um, let's try to get this barrier to switch. Just hit this FCC a little bit. Don't put all your faith in me. Yep, barrier switch. Now we can go back on Seaside. She's not getting her damage mitigation anymore. Keeps getting the damn defense break on me though. Slap her. And now Ken should finish her next turn. Flap, 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 flap. And now it's just a matter of uh, AI manipulation. Let's get this Fallen CC to go on ML Ken by healing up Fallen CC. Now the AI should switch. Except for the fact that my damn FCC keeps provoking her. Oh yeah, it'll sleep immediately into a wake up. And is this poke gonna do it? Poke. Does. So I get a draw here because of my disastrous misplay on the first match. Um, looks like Keiki did go down. Should I just take one for the team and try to kill this? What the hell is this? Ugh. Dark Corvus. I needed Sermia here, too. Yeah, I don't think I could take that for Sermia. Dark Corvus, you really have to one-shot. So let's just go for more Havoc. What is this thing? Dizzy Seaside Charles. Well, that's actually kind of scary for me. I hate losing Sermia. Makes me very sad. Yeah, so many teams that Sermia would just own on. I don't like dealing with the Steenas either, because they're extremely tanky. 
Basar, Spez, and Dominil. Hmm. The second team would have been Sermia Feast. What do we got here? Helga? Are people using Helga now? Specialty change Helga? Is she good? No idea. Ugh. What is this? Champserato, Euphine. Can I just cleave the first one, guys? A little bit of Judge Kisei Tywin action. Is that Dizzy gonna be blindingly fast and screw me? What's the second one? Yafine, Champs Rado, Bissar. Hmm. How strong is that Yafine? Is she gonna one shot someone on my team? Do I need Troublemaker? Or can ML Ken just solo this slowly? Yeah, Fiend's gonna go on a Momo. And your fiends are freaking scary, so maybe I do need Troublemaker. Alright, let's try this. I don't actually like my Judge Kisei team against Seaside Charles D. Elbrises just uh, are so dangerous. But it does have like, I'd say like a 85% win rate. It's pretty consistent, but you know, really in Guild Wars at top tier, you want to pick a team that's going to win every single time. Charles is decently strong. Nothing too crazy. Alright. Seems low health though. Yep, he is low health, so <laughs> they're done. <laughs> All right, so that one's a wrap. Let's see the second team. Time for a counter attack. We get pushed back. That Yafine is slow, and we know what that means. She's gonna be really jacked. So if this Champs Rado lands defense breaks on me, bad news bear. This is it. Do not defense break Amomo, or she is done there. Okay, does not get a defense break on Amomo, so I think we're all right. Amomo cuts. Let's cleanse. Alright, let's see this damage. Troublemaker Saber! Alright, hits pretty hard, but with Troublemaker, no problem. Alright, nice. I didn't get defense down on a Chancerato, so no counter. We'll finish off this Bizarre. This one seems a good match. I think I'll push up a Momo. Give her defense buff, make her immune basically to Yafine. Man, I'm still mad I lost that other match. Frickin' Crow. Outplayed. Guy outplayed me. Alright, let's whap this Yafine. This should kill her. And I'll can. Loop. And Troublemaker has no debuff, so no problem there. We'll just whap him. Oh, he's dead. Alright, so for today we get two wins and a draw due to my embarrassing failure against... Uh, who did I fail against? This guy? Yeah, this guy. This first team. Um... Sermia was great against the first two. It's the Crow that was the X Factor because Sermia can't really one shot Crow because of her mischance. That's why I brought C Dom. I was really banking that she could one shot the Crow. But uh, yeah, now that I think about it, regardless of what happened, that team would not have worked. I need to start thinking about the fact that people are going to use Holy Sacrifice more with the buffs to it. So um, whatever, still got a. A little bit of havoc for the guild. Yeah, so I've been doing okay. I've been doing worse actually lately because I've been experimenting with so many weird comps. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this guild war. Good luck on your own. Until next time, peace out.